What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Tell me show you guys the Air Max 1, Ugly Duckling. Okay guys, now the official name of this shoe is actually not Ugly Duckling, but I feel like this does have a lot of similarities to some dunks that we've seen earlier in the year. Now, fun facts of the day, this shoe does mimic, you know, the same color scheme that we've seen on the Dusty Olive Dunk, and I will show you guys some pictures right here of the original um, Nike Dunk Low SB Ugly Duckling that came out in 2001 for a retail price of 65 bucks. Yes, that's crazy to hear, I know. Recently, we also did see eBay and the Sandy Bodecker Foundation do releases of Dunks at 65 bucks as well, and it was at the skate amount. So I'm sure you got some video of that right here. But back to the story here. Now, this shoe does represent the Ugly Duckling, which is a fairy tale from back in the day. And basically, that fairy tale was about, you know, believing in yourself. You know, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. So, you know, nobody can be you to sum it all up. That's what that story was about and uh they gave us some different shoes you know to look at that so right here i'm going to show you guys some pictures of the shoes that actually are in this pack and this shoe did officially come out today on the sneakers app and it's still sitting there both colorways now i was able to get these from the hustle life boutique in Inglewood, new jersey and they had both colorways but i felt like this colorway and the color scheme of this did fit my personality and the way i like to dress better um i did want to get the other one but i felt like i wasn't going to wear you know that one as often as i would wear this one so i wanted to go with this one instead plus it is christmas time so your boy is you know doing some christmas shopping so you know i just want to save a little bit of dollars but i did get some b-roll here as you guys can see on that shoe now i will say that you know with those dunks that i did show you guys in that b-roll that you know uh these shoes do have a lot of similarities both colorways have a dunk version and uh these are really nice in my opinion now the retail on this was 160 i did go with a size 9.5 on here all right we don't get a suggested retail on the box but the current retail is going for about 180 and possibly will be going under retail um within the next coming weeks or months so in my opinion if you want these you can get them now but if it's not a rush definitely wait because these will go under retail in my opinion open up the top of the box here as you guys see we get a stamp on the inside of the box Take out this beautiful color with the shoe in my opinion and i must say that these are very nice now with that being said you know this is 35 years of air max one so these officially came out in 1987 i want to believe so this is 35 years of the anniversary so this is a 35 year anniversary and these shoes are really really nice in my opinion so starting off with the bottom of the shoe here as you guys can see we get this yellow on the bottom of the shoe it's kind of like a mustard yellow and if you guys look on the bottom right here coming like some green bluish paint splatters there and that comes from the recycled material so pretty dope in my opinion all right not sure if these come from recycled materials but normally when they do have those paint splatters and things like that that means that it does come from recycled materials now coming towards the outside of the shoe as you guys see on the midsole light rubber midsole on both the outside and the inside of the shoe if you guys look towards the back of the shoe here we get a translucent air bubble and you can see the air bubble in there in orange all right coming back towards the outside of the shoe here we get three different colors on here we get like an olive green we get like a light brown and then we get like a dark chocolate brown towards the front of the shoe. Pretty dope color schemes. Um, if you guys look at the suede on the shoe though, we do get a little bit of pattern change on all panels of the shoe. Pretty nice in my opinion. What do you guys think about these? Let me know if you guys are picking these up. But I do think this is a very nice neutral color. Um, I will also say that the swoosh on here is yellow. It makes the contrast of the shoe look really, really nice in my opinion. Okay. Um, same thing on the inside here. I will also add that I feel like these should have came out a little bit early in the year, especially the other colorway. It should have came out around, you know, Halloween in my opinion, but you know, it is what it is. It is the fourth quarter and they're trying to get those numbers to look amazing. So I do understand. But let me know what you guys think about that in the comments box below. But on the inside, it's just the same thing. I don't really see any glue stains on mine or, you know, stitching errors. It's just a really nice shoe all the way around. And I really do like the color scheme on this coming around to the front of the toe box here we get like this dark brown on the toe box once again you can see the pattern change on the toe box and i can push my hand down on these you can't see the creases on these so you know in my opinion you know if you want to be safe in my opinion you don't really need shoe trees for these because of the materials used on it but depending on how you walk and everything like that you can possibly fit wearable shoe trees in these olive green on like the mud guard right there and then we see the yellow creeping up from the bottom pretty dope in my opinion and we actually do get two pair of laces on these they come standard with the yellow laces but as you guys can see right here if that doesn't come attached on the shoe it actually comes separate and i'll show you guys a little bit of a closer image of what the brown laces look like but i feel like the contrast of the yellow laces make the shoe look 100 times better but that's just my opinion let me know colorway you guys are thinking about putting in the shoe if you are picking these up on the actual tongue of the shoe here it comes in this brown mesh tongue at the top of the brown mesh tongue it says nike air max with that being in light olive green in the background that is in that chocolate brown 
on the inside of the tongue here, this tells us the size and the production dates on this was 4-12-22 to 6 7 22 So these been made, you know, they could have made these come out way earlier, especially on a week where we didn't have any releases at all, but they decided to do, you know, two black and yellow shoes back to back, which was a taxi and a... Uh, uh, um, I forget the name of the other one, but you know, those shoes did come out back to back. They could have squeezed one of those in there. And then the next week when it was no shoe release, but you know, it is what it is. Now on the inside of the sock lining, as you guys can see here, it comes in like a green color, a light green olive color. All right, we do get some tissue inserts on these as well. And on the actual insole, it is brown. It says Nike Air with the sizing sticker on top. And it says Nike Air in yellow with the actual insole being in brown. And on the back here, it is in gray and it says Nike with a swoosh on it. Show you guys that real quick. Pretty dope insole, very comfortable on feet. Under the actual insole, it is like a green color, like a mint green, a little bit lighter than the mint green. All right, I forgot to mention that on the actual tissue paper that comes on the inside, we get two separate tissue paper so you know both of these tissue papers did come on the inside and that was in both shoes now coming around to the back of the shoes here as you got to see around the ankle area towards the back here we get that dark chocolate once again in that suede color all right under that we get some light brown and then we see the ugly duckling in the back right there probably one of the best features about the shoe pretty dope if you guys look at that real quick on the back and the yellow stitching and under that we get some more of that light olive green and then it goes down to the white sole all right I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right now. Okay guys, so this is what they look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a true size nine. I'm normally get nine and a half in all my shoes and I went up half a size on these. Now, when I did go true to size on these, they did feel a little bit tight. I actually didn't get a video of that in store, but um, I did go with the size 9.5 here and I feel like it fits amazing. So in my opinion, go half a size up on these. Um, now you don't have any slippage on here and this is how I like to wear my shoes on lace. And as you guys see, I don't really have that much slippage on here, but if I really try to take my foot out, you know, I can do it. But as you guys can see, it is a little bit hard to do. So um, I would definitely say go up half a size on these and that was on the pair that is unlaced. Now laced up, I will say it does feel pretty comfortable on feet, but I do feel a little bit of tightness like in this area up here. Okay, so um, maybe that will break in over time, but you know, I'm just letting you guys know what I feel on the shoe. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box. And as you guys see, like when I scrunch up my toes and let them relax, you know, the toe box does spread out a little bit. So the toe box on this is very narrow. As you guys can see, my foot is on this material right here on the inside and also on the outside. And I do have a little bit of space here on the outside. As you guys see, when I push down, it does go down a little bit. All right, but on the inside, you can really see that my foot is on this material. Like it doesn't budge at all, as you guys can see right there. Now, my big toe is right here in the toe box, so I don't really have that much space to push down, as you guys can see from the top of the shoe. But when I push from the front of the shoe, I do have a little bit more space. Okay, so once again, do go up half a size in these, in my opinion. Well, it's, it's, it really depends on your liking and preference, but in my opinion, you should go half a, half a size up on these. Um, especially if you need a little bit of space in your shoes or have a wider foot. But other than that, they feel pretty comfortable on feet. And I'm gonna show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now. Okay guys, so I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boys some love and stay tuned.